Hello, ladies and gents. I'm the Rev. This is Savage Lands, the beginner's guide, and today I'm, we're going to be taking on Lord Kroll. Now, at this point, you should have already done your laps, gotten all of your gear together. I surpassed that a while ago, so I just I have my silver armor here. But the weapons I'm going to use is the tin sword and a tin shield to show you guys how to take him on. Now the other thing you're going to want to do is have a bow because you do not have to take him on face to face. So now of course over there is where that first little farming thing is. So to open up the portal if you want to do this, he is optional. You can run across the ice, go and get um, copper and iron, and build those weapons as well. As you can see here, steel, which is um, iron, two iron bars, and four coal make one piece of steel. You can see it's three times as strong, the steel hammer, as a tin sword. Now. If you're crazy and you run the ice and you can find a spot to get across so the nasty guys on the third island don't get you, you can start making silver weapons. You can see here it's 84 damage and then that's of course how I got all my silver armor was being crazy and going over there. So, like I said, there's a couple ways you can take him on. Of course there's a full frontal here. But, if you are not confident in doing that. You can just stand up here and blink away at him. He will eventually go down. It'll take probably close to a hundred arrows. But you can see as he runs around, you just have to keep shooting at him. So, you know, as long as you've got your bow, a bow, you can just stand up here and shoot at him. Or, conversely, you can run over this way. And you can keep doing this, you know, just pick different parts of the thing here. And you see he's going to keep running around and we can just stand here and shoot him. Just make sure you don't get too close to the edge because they will shoot you. So the weapon that he has is of course if he drops it, he doesn't always drop it. it used to be that way. The devs though changed it into the old RNG so it's not like that. So now let's have some fun with him. I'll show you his attack patterns. So this one, that's three. It's very easy to dodge. You just get behind. He has one big swing like that. As you can see, he's not real difficult. You just got to be able to stay on his backside. He's the easiest of the bosses you're going to come across. Everything gets a lot nastier after this. Oh, there we go. Took a hit to the shield. Of course, with the shield, it does affect your stamina, so do keep that in mind. And I'm sure they will balance how hard he hits. Oh, and he poisons you. I forgot that. And all that's going to do is just slowly take your health down over time. Nothing too incredibly dangerous. Come on, big boy. Why don't you go down? Now, so far, they only have the phosphor bandages here. You can see right here. On this first island is the only place you can get the phosphor to do this currently. That may change. But that's all you got to do is just run around. Like I said, he's slow, so again, watch your stamina. Make sure you get your stamina coming back up in case you do need to use your shield. I would also suggest having more than one shield. See, because now that one's pretty much toast. Oh, and he's dead! Ha 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 ha. Ah, lad. You couldn't handle it, could you? Anyway, so we come on up. 
Hit this, and what do we get? We get to school. Hey, we get some of our arrows back. Spirit Shard, okay. You use those currently to summon other players to you. So we'll take his soul. And the other thing to keep in mind, too, is that there's a good chance there's going to be other guards around here floating around, so you will want to watch for that. But now that we did that... Of course, these guys are easy to run down. Come here. Come here, piggy. Oh, you didn't give me nothing. And, of course, there's Frostfern all over this area here. So you might want to think about doing your laps, making sure you're... Hey, there's more arrows. Ooh, I see some. Personally, I'm back running the laps that I showed you guys in the first one, getting coal and flint a lot. Alright. So, over here, you are going to want to watch, at this point... These little buggers that pop up, the elks, uh, they tend to, because of course the way this is set up, they come usually in groups. Oh, I thought that was phosphor. But they are right in this area. So, all through here, all the way down to that little house down there and they come up on this side as well so you're going to want to watch out for those until you get yourself a stronger weapon then they are a great source for uh, cotton uh, wood and sticks every once in a great 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 I mean I've I've killed hundreds of the things and I think I've gotten two radiant shards from them that's it usually the easier well I don't know about easier way but to get the radiant shards is to go and take on there you go, three racks to take that guy down unless I want to use one of my big boy weapons and we'll take all that it's also a good area to stand and farm these pigs, you can get a lot of skins and other such things so you can get start building your armor sets And you can see, though, down in the right-hand corner, that my health is slowly going down. Ooh, but I am locking out on the phosphor. It's okay, I'm going to turn this uh, current save into probably a farming save where I just, you know, everything's set up where I don't, um, I, I just farm. I don't do anything to really further it besides this first portal. I don't unlock any of the other portals. There are five others. you got to kill four forced gods, giants, whatever you want to call them. Hey, there it is. And voila. Here we go. Uh, you are now to the second island. So, I'm going to stop here. Depending on whether you play multiplayer or if you're like me and you just play by yourself, if you play by yourself, I'd say go build yourself a base. Uh, the next video we're going to do is going to be, I'm going to show you guys how to do an iron run. Now, you can run if you are careful and you pay attention to, whoops. Oh, it doesn't show it. Anyways, make sure that down here in your right-hand corner, your stamina bar is all the way up. I have had them crawl up here, so you do want to make sure you don't go too far. Anyways, you want to make sure your stamina and health are full. And the easy way, and I'll show you guys this real quick to get past all of these guys. It's just to run past them. You really don't want to fight them because you don't have strong enough weapons. A steel weapon or a silver weapon takes two hits to take one down. You just run on up. There we go. And at this point, you can do one of two things. You can wait for them to go away, which eventually they will. They'll lose interest. You can sit up here and 
shoot them with arrows if you have enough. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's 20 some odd arrows and it didn't really do anything. Um, the other thing that you can do, of course, is sign out, sign back into the game. That'll reset everything. And then from there, we head cross country, making sure we're avoiding everything. Do this in the daylight to get over to this next area where we're going to be talking about in the next video. Because you do not want to do it in the dark because there are furies that will pop up everywhere and in what you're currently wearing you will get smoked they'll hit you once or twice I mean if not one shot you can kill you in the tin armor so our goal from this point is to go get iron so in the next video I'm gonna show you guys the iron run that I do and how to dodge the furies up on the mountain it's not too difficult so I'll see you next time I want to thank you guys of course as always for all the support and remember keep your heads down your hammer's up. And I'll see you again real damn soon.